Okay, so this is another video blog catch up. Um, I have had a bad weekend. I'm clearly just every time I'm doing a video blog, have something like awful to say. Um, so I went and got my tickets for the fashion show on Friday. Now uh, they're sold through Ticketmaster, which I think is super cool, because it's like a uni organised event. So I think that's awesome. But I'm getting a side ride to go and meet my friend Corey to go and like buy these tickets. And I need to use my ISU student ID to get onto the bus. So I do that and then I walk to Stephen's Auditorium, which is where they sell them and where it's going to be. And it's literally like across the road, pretty much, like up a little bit and across the road. And I get there and I'm like, I need my card, like my student ID to get my discount. So I'm pulling out my bank card and my money and stuff because I don't know how much it's going to be. And I'm, um, I can't find my student ID. So it needs to be on the route back to where the bus was or on the bus. Common sense, right? But the girl lets me buy the ticket without my student ID, which was very nice because she could tell I was a student. I was there with other students getting tickets. So like, it was quite obvious. So that was great. Got my ticket, obviously, because I've just shown you like the envelope it's in. And then Corey like kindly agrees to sort of walk with me a bit while I'm trying to find like the ID on the pavement. And it's not in the snow. It's not in the pavement that I've walked. It's nowhere to be seen. So if it's nowhere to be seen, and it's literally been five minutes since I've walked this way, not many people sort of walk in this general direction, it means it needs to be on the side ride. So I, I phone the side ride. I've phoned them like seven times now. And they say that they don't have my ID. So that means that someone has taken my ID because they either thought it would be dining dollars on it or I thought my card would be associated with my bank or whatever. So, uh, like, now I don't have one and I'll need to pay, like, another $25 to get a replacement unless someone hands it in, like, soon. So I'm going to wait, like, a few days and then I'm going to have to replace it because it's how I get groceries. Like, I need it to get to Walmart and places. So that sucked. So, um, Friday night was kind of, like, fine. Went out to, um, Mexican um, dinner, which is lovely with Ariel and Amy and I'd met earlier during the day with uh, Abigail for coffee like everything else that was kind of cute like the rest of Friday apart from like the sucky part where I lost my card but I, at that point thought I was going to get it back so it wasn't a bad day really <laughs> so we hit like Saturday obviously still hearing that they've not found my card like I'm getting a bit more anxious and um, I decided you know what I need to like be smart about the pictures I've got my phone and my camera as well because if something happened to them I would lose them all because I've had phones stolen in the past so I thought right okay I'll put all my pictures on Facebook and if you've got me on Facebook you'll see quite a lot of them they're all from my phone. Now I put in the memory card for my dad's camera which is doing my head in because it keeps saying card is locked and all this nonsense so I don't know if it's a problem with the card or a problem with the camera but it just like refuses to let me take pictures occasionally. So I was taking all of the pictures off of that and putting them into a folder and suddenly it tells me it's deleting. So obviously I cancel it, but I've already lost like the first 50 pictures of my time in Iowa. So that majorly sucks because obviously most of them were taken on that because the phone I had was a dud. So I've lost images such as me lying down in the science center, which was really funny. Like it was there, uh, we were lying down looking at like, um, one of those star predictions that was on the ceiling and it was just really cute and really nice and like a good memory and now I don't have it. So that sucks. So that was my bad day Saturday. But then I went to Sam and Gabe's with Corey and her family and that was really nice and sweetly they actually paid for my dinner as well which is apparently normal here but I didn't expect it so that was very nice. Um, I was meant to go to the cinema on Saturday night. This was kind of arranged during Saturday whilst I was out and about doing stuff uh, with a guy I've been talking to here. So um, we were going to go to the cinema and then suddenly I'm on a night out with uh, him and one of his classmates that I'm really good friends with. His classmate's uh, girlfriend who I've met like a, a couple of times and it just kind of changed dynamics of what I was kind of expecting to go down. It was okay but I paid like the three dollar charge to take money out of my account because I hadn't expected it and hadn't taken cash out. So that kind of sucked. And then I get to 
uh, Sunday, and today wasn't as bad, like, I've got glue all over my hands, I'm trying to, like, pick it off as I'm, like, speaking to you guys, because I was making part of the backdrop for our train photo shoot, that was kind of cute and kind of fun, so nothing bad has happened today yet. Like, I, I arranged to go to dinner with Brianna, but it was last minute, and then so when she's told me she couldn't come, like, a, a half an hour ago or whatever, like, it, it wasn't, like, completely sad, because she had stuff to do, so that's fine. <sighs> Just, that's the main thing that's been happening in my life, my sucky weekend this weekend. <laughs> um, I think I'm pretty sure that everything else is going good. Finally made a resume, really making new friends here and really clicking with people, getting good grades. So I'm at an average of an A just now, an average of, in my five like main classes of um, 90, just under 95%, I think it's like 94.6% or something. So, 94, 95% average, which works for me. <laughs> I'm going to have high standards when I get home. But, yeah, so I guess that kind of catches you up on everything that's been really kind of going on, I guess. Um, tomorrow I'm going to the cinema and to dinner after classes, which will be cute. Tuesday's going to be, like, trend heavy. Wednesday's going to be like learning more about New York places because we're now going to like Mark Jacobs and Tory Burch I think behind the scene and then some American places that I'm not as familiar with but that'll be fun. Um, Thursday I think I'm going to the cinema and I'm going to be um, the cinema and dinner again so yeah I've got a pretty busy week. Um, you will see me on this potentially tonight, hopefully tonight, uh, with fashion hauls my how-to videos will be coming up soon because I've got them for a product for university and yeah so they'll at least be up and uh, my new blog is going to be started soon and that will be a Stephanie abroad as well I'm just working on getting my domain at the moment so you can catch me on WordPress soon and I can keep you updated with that so yeah you should maybe check it out <laughs> so thanks very much for watching I like how well like always <laughs> if anyone has any questions for me anything they'd like to know about America coming over here or anything then feel free to message me or if anyone's just got questions in general because I've not been keeping up with people very well like if you've messaged me and I've not answered you I think I'm up to date at the moment so like message me again <laughs> and just be like Sarah now I don't answer now sorry <laughs> well thanks I'll speak to you guys all soon.